Hey, what's up DIYers, Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. In today's video, we are going to show you the step-by-step -step process on how to install your brand new X-Tang tonneau cover. And in the event that you want step-by-step -step guidance on how to remove a tonneau cover, definitely check out the link scrolling above. All right, DIYers at the truck now, we're working on our Chevy Colorado and there is the new tonneau cover. It is an X-Tang brand, America's favorite truck bed cover. No drilling, no damage, protects your cargo, fast and easy install. And our favorite, no tugging in cold weather. That'll be nice. In a previous video, we removed our old tonneau cover. In an additional video, we installed a brand new rubber diamond plated mat. And what we will do for both of those videos is post links down below in the comment section as well as the description section. So definitely check those out if you're interested. However, back to this. Let's go and open it. Here's what it looks like inside the box. What we'll do now is pull all the parts out and organize them. Everything's out of the box. You've got your four rails. You've got your rail bracket mounts. You've got your bowed crossbars, some padding, hardware. And there is the tonneau cover itself. And you've got your operator's manual. What I recommend while you're drinking your morning coffee, go ahead and read through this and become familiar with the steps prior to diving into it. Before doing anything else, Clean the entire mating surface of your truck bed the entire way around, including your tailgate. You want it as clean and dry as possible. From here, the front cover of your installation sheet has a pictorial image of all the parts. Verify all your parts are present. That little Allen wrench right there is literally the only tool you will need to install this entire tonneau cover. Now let's direct our attention to the four rails. On the backhand side, you have this little strip here you just pull away it's not sticky it is just a foam that creates a watertight seal for your truck bed and we need to reposition these rails to a flat surface and pull all those strips off i flipped all four rails over and three of them have this removable tape on them and go ahead and just peel all of those off and the one that does not have this removable strip or tape is the rail that goes on your tailgate. So as far as the foam, there's a better look of it. Again, it is not sticky. It's pretty thick, which is nice. All four rails are resting on a flat surface. None of them are connected. I've got them positioned in a manner where I've got the tailgate rail, side rails, and the bulkhead rail. After I connect them, all I have to do is pick it up and rest it on the truck bed. Come down here and we are going to position these properly and connect them. As far as your side rails, make sure your snaps are on the outer portion and your clamp sticker arrows are facing inward. And you will notice this plastic tab here. Just by compressing it rearward, you can insert the rail and that actually slides in place and snaps right in that slot there. Make a progress, all four rails are connected. Let's go ahead and pick it up and rest it in place. Get it as flush and even as possible. We have to come to the back, pick it up, rest it in place, hop to the other side, rest it in place, and spend a minute and make sure everything is perfectly aligned. I spent about two minutes and maneuver the rails and found my perfect sweet spot. Again, maneuver and center yours to your best ability or for your personal liking. From here, let's hop in the bed and we are going to secure the rails with clamps. In front of us now is one clamp. It has two pieces. This is the bottom piece. This is the top piece. It has a securing bolt. Here's the Allen wrench. Go ahead and grab the top portion. You will notice this black padding here. Take note of how those little hooks are positioned. Come up to your sticker. You've got a black line. Make sure you position this in the dead center of that black line as shown here. And you'll notice this just slides right in place on those little rails. And again, that padding protects your paint. From here, grab the bottom mount. The orange little rubber padding protects your paint on the bottom side. There's your threaded bolt hole. And install this properly. This just slides right up in place. And it's only going to go as far up as your truck bed will allow. From here, we will grab that bolt, feed it in, and screw it tight. And here's my recommendation when securing that bolt. That is a steel bolt going into an aluminum thread. Do not over tighten it. 
Clamp number one is secured. I'll show you how to do the second one. Moving to the center clamp, grab your top portion, position it properly, dead center between those two black lines as best you can. Secure those little hooks on the rail. Grab the bottom portion. Again, the orange portion goes underneath to protect your paint. Grab that bolt and secure it. At this point, I've got two of the clamps installed. I got one more on this side and three on the other side. All six clamps are secured. I hopped out of the truck bed, lowered the tailgate. Here are the three bowed crossbars. Flip them upside down. You will see cab, center, and tail. And on one side, it is a solid piece of plastic. On the opposite side is a spring-loaded plastic tab there. And real quick, step eight of the installation sheet shows how to insert bow onto the top or bottom peg as shown here. You've got the option. Top peg for performance, bottom for good looks. It's all personal preference. However, don't do it that way. Do it that way or that way and after a few minutes of thinking about it as opposed to good looks i am going to choose performance so i'm going to insert this on the top peg and push that in place where it is flush with the clamp now to the opposite side to the opposite side again spring loaded and top peg just like that extremely friendly let's go ahead and install the center and tailgate all three crossbars are installed before going and grabbing the cover spend a couple minutes and evenly space out your snaps the side rails have 13 snaps, the bulkhead and tailgate have 11, and very important, at the tips of the side rails are these little aluminum compression tabs. Go ahead and shift that in place, as shown there, come all the way to the back and do the same, just like that. After evenly spacing out those snaps, direct your attention to your corners and just make sure each corner snap is flush on all corners as you can see here, as well as that one next unwrap your cover and we need to figure out which side is the bulkhead and which side is the tailgate in our case there is no logo so that's the bulkhead portion tunnel covers up against the bulkhead very first thing to do snap the corners just two on each corner carefully roll it over the crossbars and having a second person helping you unroll this would be helpful. Make a progress and this is much shinier than our old one. Again, two snaps on each corner. Then from here, you can carefully realign the bottom snaps and secure all of your snaps. All right, DIYers back in front of the truck and I could not be happier. Brand new shiny tonneau cover. All the snaps are in place. Let's go ahead and open up the tailgate and huge improvement to the truck today hopefully this helps youtubers hey do us a favor below the video you will see that thumbs up icon click on that like the video subscribe to the channel definitely ring your youtube bell that would be very helpful to us we would really appreciate it thanks again for watching